Just when you thought there was nothing new to discover in knitting, along comes something wonderful. Let me introduce you to the modified conventional bind-off. This is just a substitute for your regular knit two stitches, grab the first one by the scruff of the neck method. So let's take a look at it. I'm using a new colour of yarn just so you can differentiate between the freshly worked stitches and the ones of the previous row. So let's knit our first stitch as usual. There we go. The only way modified conventional bind off differs is in the way you use your needles. The left needle is going to get involved. It's going to slip into the stitch you just worked, tip to tip and towards the back of the work. So the two needle tips are going in opposing directions. Then with the right needle in front you come round the front of the knit stitch just as you normally would. In through the stitch, under the needle and out at the other side. Now look very carefully. It's caused the two stitches to cross and the needle projects between the two strands at the back of the work. It's actually through both stitches. Throw the yarn as if to knit and bring it out where the needle went in between the crossed stitches. It looks like the bar on a letter A when you're pulling it out. You've just knit stitch two and bound off stitch one in one movement. Then you drop both bits of the stitches off your needle. Every time you have one stitch on your right hand needle, you tuck your left hand needle in. You put your right hand needle into the front of the second stitch, straight through and out the other side, in between the two strands, that's critical. Then you bring it out where the needle went in, where it looks like the bar across a letter A, and let both of those bits of stitches drop off the needle. So left needle, right needle as usual, throw the yarn and knit it through both stitches. You're both knitting and binding off the stitches in one movement. It's so much faster, smoother and looser. The reason it's looser is when you tuck the needle tip in and slide round into the front of that stitch, can you see how that pink stitch has become stretched? And that makes for a looser bound off edge. Now initially you'll say that looks a little different, but it's just a, a factor of how the stitches are sitting. If you brush up that chain edge, you've got a regular bound off chain along that edge. So it's structurally no different from a regular bind off. Left needle, right needle into the stitch as usual, bring out the stitch between the needles. It will take you a while for your left hand to automatically dive into this stitch and that's the biggest trick to the whole thing. But it's much faster, far more pleasant and there is a purl version too. If this were a purled stitch, I'll bring my yarn to the purl position or purl the first one, tuck that left needle tip in, your right needle tip in as usual, as if to purl in this case, so there's no crosses on this one. It's just like a purl two together. Left needle, right needle, purl them together. Then if we were back to knits again, take the yarn to the knit position, left needle, right needle, knit them together. It's so much faster, so much more pleasant. And if you happen to be an alternative purler whose stitches sit on the needle, the other way round. Then when I'm doing this bind off I put my left needle in, I go into the stitch as I normally would and knit the two together. Let's do it one more time. Left needle, right needle into the stitch as you normally would to knit it and there we go. And if this one was a purl I would bring my yarn forward, tuck my needle tip in here come round into the stitch as if to purl it. It's a little bit more fiddly on the purl for people with alternatively mounted stitches, but it's perfectly possible for everybody. The discovery of this bind off led me to using lots more picots in my knitting than I ever used to. This is the Zen Mountain scarf and this is the Sea Lettuce scarf both of which have little picots at the edge. Well, the Zen Mountain picots are quite long, but if you were to do either of these scarves, you would have that bind-off method 
down pat for the rest of your life. There are many, many people who have switched to this form of bind-off. It's just the same as a regular bind-off, but faster and looser. Wishing you all happy stitches.